Welcome to the lair and welcome back to Eastward. In our last episode, we made our way through the tunnels and got separated. But luckily, we were able to continue our adventures side by side and parallel routes and got Sam and John connected back together just in time to make it to the mayor's house. What's going to happen next? Are we going to be sent to Charon or are we going to give the mayor a piece of our mind? If you are ready, if you are hype, then hold on tight because it's time for us to light it up! Ooh, I'm so excited. This, I mean, the mayor knew he was filthy. Filthy! The way he just came in and decided to put John and Sam in prison while John was laid out and he just killed all the monsters and the ruins. It's just filthy treatment. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Okay. What's this? Ooh, secrets. Ooh. Nope, nope. Want to get in? Want to get in there? I would very much like to get through here, please. Hello? Do I need? Do I need to pull it again? Okay. One more time. <laughs> let me, let me through here, please. Okay. This, this is not cooperating. I should be able. Oh, maybe I can drag it now. Yes. Okay. Had to use my brain to use some brawn. Hey, this is the mayor's house. John, we made it back. That we did, Sam. We're back, baby. Whoa. Well, whoa, this must be where the mayor keeps all his dirty secrets. What do, why do you know about stuff like that? Oh, what? John, John, just immediately got just ganked. Oh, John, you all right? Well, we have to fight. Oh, that looks like a boss fight. <laughs> oh, that's a boss fight if I've ever seen one. Let's go. Looks like it's missing something. What is it missing? Could it be missing gear parts? Let's see here. No? Okay. Well, we'll go around. It's missing something. So, <clears throat> oh, I can cook. Thank you. That's that's what I need to know. I can buy stuff here. Let's cook a little something up. Let's use that. Egg. And we got potato. You know what? Let's not use the egg. Hold on. We're going to use a sand drip. And we're going to use a potato. And we're going to use an onion. You know, two sand drip. Oh, no. I only need three. Okay. Oh, it has to be four different things? No. I should be good. Okay. Start cooking. Here we go. And so close. Where'd the pumpkin come from? I put in a Sandra, an onion, and a potato. And I got fruit salad. Okay. <laughs> and I put it in fire. And I got fruit salad. <laughs> I'm not understanding how that worked out. But it's great. 
right. Let's save our progress really quick. It took us so much effort to figure out a way to save our memories. But what if those memories you save aren't the real you? Save your memories? Please, please stop putting me through existential crises every time I want to save my game. Thank you, refrigerator. Okay. Let's see. This says I can buy something. Energy drink. Ammo. Bomb. Oh, I, I am already full of bombs. <coughs> so, I guess I'm going this way. Hmm. Oh. 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 Oh! No gusta. Okay, looks like I got this party started. Let's go! Okay. Boom. Use. There we go. Oh, there's pepper. Yeah. Get out of here. Up, oh, run. Get y'all. Bombs. Okay. Oh. Way up. Front. Okay. already oh my goodness no why did you have to come this way okay nope run run oh oh okay that didn't quite work out we're not giving up though let's try it again i didn't use my fruit salad what's the point of having fruit salad if you don't use it What's wrong with me? I don't understand. I apologize, everyone. One more time. Boom. You get blown out. Get back down a bit. And then run. Okay, where you at? Where you at? There you are. Okay. Use. Yeah. 
run. Okay. And we'll spawn your little chillins. Ah, oh. oh, your heifer. Bomb placements. There you are. Get out of there. Run. made that in time. Get out of here already, please! Yeah! All these boss battles are so satisfying. Oh, they're so satisfying. Max hearts increased! Yes! Can I get ingredients from you? Can I get, like, crawdad leg or... I guess you're what's missing for the robot. No antenna. No receiver. It's no buena. All right. Let's go ahead and make something else to eat. Let's see. We're going to do two onions and a Sandra. Start cooking. See what pops up this time. I am just not good at that. Oh. Okay. As much as I enjoy that animation and song, it's another fruit salad, just not as strong. Cool. And then let's buy some bomb replenishment because goodness. Okay. And then let's First, refill our bombs, and then 
Buy another bomb pack. Boom. And now we're good to go. All right. Let's combine. Okay. Here we go. What in the world? What? To think a place like this existed. I love you, Jasper! John! What'd you just do? There was a huge noise! Oh. That looks like we have trouble. Where, oh where did those little mice go? There you are, my little mice. Why the grim faces? The show is just about to begin. Yes, aren't you curious? Hmm, what kind of show could it be? We're not interested in any kind of show. Let us go! Oh, I'll let you go. Yes, I'll let all of you little mice go. Tell me, have you ever heard of Sharon? Ch Sharon? You're not talking about that Sharon, are you? I see you're familiar with him, then. Impressive. I should have expected no less from Pot Crocodile's one-man show. Jasper knows his stuff. He's an amazing performer. What can I say? I am Pot Croc's only performer. When entertainment's what you covet, call Jasper the One Man Show. You're gonna love it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Enough. All of you, I've got three seats on Sharon with your names on them. Yes, all of you are going to go on a little trip. Ugh, yawn. Only on this trip, no one ever returns. Because no one wants to be bothered with you. That's why no one ever returns. How about that? What? What you gonna do? Whoa. <laughs> okay, Gravekeeper. Wretched ones. Why must you prey on the misfortunes of others? Eyes wide and gawking through keyhole coffer. Gravekeeper, you're really creepy. This whole situation is really creepy. Woe to ye souls depraved. Okay, it was the mayor. I could have done that in the smooth jazz voice. Abandon all hope of air coming back. For I have come to take you to the world above. All that awaits you now is darkness, hellfire, and blistering cold. No longer will your feet tread on sanctuary's land. Nay, beneath your steps shall lie naught but poison. And the malevolent grip of an endless, unceasing, Miasma. Mr. 
Mr. Mayor! I beg of you to dispel your anger. My time in that squalid cell has opened my eyes to the light. I am washed clean, born anew and free from sin. This is not the port from which we are to embark. Nay, in your heart, you can feel our virtue. Quiet, you toilsome scoundrels. Oh, it's a train. You hear that? Charon's rage builds. No longer shall he accept your lies. Only the most degenerate of souls are allowed through his throat. The time for words has come and gone. Only Charon can decide your fate. Okay. So if it flashes red, does that mean we're being deported? And the verdict, guilty. Charon's mighty gavel falls. Swift and sure shall his punishment reign. Really? We gotta go through one at a time. John's just like, whatever. <laughs> Either way, dreadful, contemptible. Even after I gave you a chance, a chance to atone for your sins. No, it's too late for you. You no longer belong to the world on the other side of that gate. Now it's like, hi. <laughs> Sam. Come on, you fluffy bean. Whoa. Whoa! It flashed red, and then she put the power out. M Mr. Mayor? Chair on throw. It's... It's broken. Unforgivable! Even the most ex execrable of criminals feel some sort of shame for their foul deeds. But not you. No, charging into the forbidden land, breaking out of jail, refusing to repent, and now to wage war on Charon's throat itself. Be gone. All right. We get some rumbling. I banish you from this land for all eternity. Man, you've been wanting to do this for a hot minute, haven't you, Mayor? You are one for the theatrical. Is that why you didn't want the one-man show? They were stealing your thunder? Charon is waiting for you. May your last steps on this earth be Potcroc Isle's final act of mercy. Okay. Alright, we are on the subway train. Come on, Jasper! Oh, Jasper's just so done. This is it. We're finished. It's gonna be good. It's all good. Welcome aboard the train. This train is bound for... White Whale Bay. Please watch your step while the train is in motion. White Whale Bay? The shining pearl of the coast! The largest port in the east! <laughs> With sails on the ships crowd her shores, their proud masts scraping the sky. 
With mighty blasts, the whale's watery whirls join the songs of sailor spry. Outside, the wind howls, the skies grow dark, and the towering white caps soar. Yay! But in white bell, in white whale bay, the water lies still, untouched as a virgin's drawers. <laughs> but then, we spoiled her. Moldering sails of the ships like shrouds exhumed from the earth. The ghosts of the whales now patrolling its waters like monstrous centuries. Curse forever, more as the land of the dead. That took a drastic turn. The land of the dead. Yes, once criminals are sent there, they'll never, never return. You guys hear that? They really did it. They really bore it, Charon. There's no way! There must be some sort of mistake! What do you think the mayor's lying? This again? The mayor's been going on like this for hours. I've got soup on the burner. Get on with it already. Indolence. It was indolence that almost, almost made me a heartbringer of disaster. Yes, a heartbringer of disaster to Pot Croc Isle. Don't say that. We know all of this is thanks to you. You're the one who saved us, the great and almighty Hoffman. It's Gerald! Gerald's here! Whoa! Whoa! Your house got hit by a train. Whoa. Your house got run over by a train, sir. Charon screams as it barrels through Pot Croc Isle. As John watches out the window, he has a thought. It's the very first time in his life that he'd had this thought. Small, he thinks. So small, they pass it in the blink of an eye. John, that's our house! Sam shouts as she gazes out the window. That's our house! Yes, John thinks, that is our house. Achievement unlocked, true lies. John, I think I saw the mayor. He looked pretty happy. A joy we three cannot share. No, for we are bound for the surface. But it's so beautiful up there. Blue sky as far as you can see. And green, so much green. Hoppycock! You're talking about White Whale Bay! White Whale Bay? The train will soon be clear of the tunnel. Please prepare yourself for the change in air pressure. Air pressure? What's air pressure? All the ears pop. Look, look, it's the sky! Just 
Jasper! It's the sky! We're on an adventure! Yay! And now we are in Chapter 2. What the Forest Taught Me. We're going to go ahead and wrap up here. If you enjoyed this episode of Eastward, then please leave a like. And if you are looking forward to playing more as much as I am, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell so you are notified when the next episode comes out. Lady Dragonflame, out.